Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Bytel. Today's topic of discussion is function generators. Our objective is to take a quick look at a representative example of a commercially available function generator. We'll orient ourselves to the device and learn how to set it up to produce sinusoidal voltage with a desired magnitude and frequency. If you'll recall, way back in the Basic Electronics 1 DC Circuit Analysis playlist, I introduced the DC power supply. Today, we'll examine a related device known as a function generator. A function generator is essentially an adjustable power supply that can produce time-variant waveforms of both the AC and DC variety with variant magnitude and frequency and in various forms, including, but not limited to, sinusoidal, square waves, triangle, and sawtooth patterns. This lecture concerns itself solely with sinusoidal output of the function generator. For the purposes of today's lecture, we'll be making use of the BK Precision 410A function generator. This in no way is meant to be a neither an exhaustive review of the BK Precision 410A, nor an endorsement of this particular manufacturer or model. On the wish to use this as a representative example of a commercially available function generator so the viewer can gain some practical exposure to the operation of such a device. Let's use the BK Precision 410A function generator to set up a voltage signal with the following characteristics. The waveform is to be sinusoidal in nature and have an effective or RMS value of let's say 4.5 volts and a frequency of 50 hertz. Given these characteristics, it should be well within your capacity to determine the peak voltage, the peak to peak voltage, and the resultant period. By all means, do so now. If you're tracking, you should have obtained the following values. An effective or RMS value of 4.5 volts is roughly equivalent to a peak value of approximately 6.4 volts and a peak to peak value of approximately 12.7 volts. A frequency of 50 Hz corresponds to a period of 20 milliseconds. If we were to assume this is our reference waveform, we could say it has a phase shift of 0 degrees, and substituting these values into the time variant voltage waveform formula, we arrive at V of t equals 6.4 volts times the sine of 360 times 50 times the time of interest. Our goal is to use the BK Precision 410A function generator to produce this exact same time variant voltage waveform. Let's first orient ourselves to the BK Precision 410A function generator front plate. There's really only a couple areas we need to concern ourselves with today. Principally the means of adjusting the style of waveform produced, the means of adjusting frequency, the means of adjusting amplitude, and the means of modifying the output for special purpose scenarios. Let's start with the most obvious setting first. Looks like the BK Precision 410A function generator is capable of producing three styles of waveforms, sinusoidal, square wave, and triangle. Select sinusoidal. Several selector buttons modify the output for special purpose scenarios. Examples would be duty cycle modification or whether or not we wish to include a DC offset. We don't want any of these modifications today, so ensure all these options are off. This disables the first three knobs. Importantly, disabling all these options means whatever waveform we produce today will be zero centered and include no DC offset. The fourth knob on the right is the means one uses to adjust output voltage magnitude. The BK Precision 410A function generator is capable of producing zero to 20 volts peak to peak output. A 20 volt peak to peak value correlates to a 10 volt peak value and an approximately 7.07 .07 voltage RMS range. Our desired output of 4.5 volts RMS is well inside this range. Given the fully counterclockwise rotation of the fourth knob means 0 volts, and fully clockwise rotation means 7.07 .07 volts RMS, maybe about here would give us our desired 4.5 volts RMS. We'll verify this in a moment. To adjust frequency, an operator must first select the appropriate range using a series of buttons along the top and then fine-tune frequency inside this range using the dial on the left. The ranges include 0 to 2, 0 to 20, 0 to 200, and so on. The dial features a number between 0 and 2, where 0 represents the bottom of the range and 2 represents the top. For example, if the frequency range was 0 to 200, a dial setting of 0 would be equivalent to 0 Hz, and a dial setting of 2 would be equivalent to 200 Hz. To adjust it to, let's say, 60 Hz, a user would keep it inside the range of 0 to 200 and then just dial it down to 0.6. If the user dialed it to 1.5, it should output 150 Hz. 
since we're looking for 50 hertz, we'll dial it close to 0.5. One could theoretically do this inside the 0 to 2000 hertz range or other higher ranges, but this is the most accurate window to do so. Finally, one can obtain an output signal from the BK Precision 410A function generator using the output labeled output on the lower right hand side. Let's plug in the appropriate cable and verify our output using a DMM. Pressing power on the BK Precision 410A function generator enables this output. Using a DMM in AC voltmeter mode, it looks like we're close but ever so slightly off our desired 4.5 volts RMS output. Readjusting the output level using the fourth knob on the right, we dial it in to 4.5 volts. Using a DMM in frequency measurement mode, it looks like we're close, but ever so slightly off our desired 50 hertz frequency. Readjusting the dial on the left, we dial it in closer to 50 hertz. In theory, we've graded a waveform with an effective value of 4.5 volts, a peak value of 6.4 volts, a peak to peak value of 12.7 volts, a frequency of 50 hertz, and a period of 20 milliseconds. This being said, realize this is an unloaded condition and the function generator isn't actually producing any current. If we were to include a load that drew an appreciable amount of current, we might anticipate a slight drop in output voltage and or a drift in frequency. Let's see if this is the case. If we were to supply current to let's say a 330 ohm resistive load, note that a DMM in AC voltmeter mode shows output voltage dips ever so slightly in the loaded condition. One can readjust the output level such that the loaded function generator is in fact producing 4.5 volts RMS. A DMM in frequency measurement mode shows that frequency hasn't drifted much, if at all. One can now be certain this resistive load is experiencing sinusoidal voltage with a 4.5 volt RMS value at 50 Hz. In summary, don't just push buttons. Do the calculations first, know what to expect, and verify it. Have a plan and execute it violently. All right, that's about it for this quick demonstration of the BK Precision 410A function generator. In conclusion, we oriented ourselves to the BK Precision 410A function generator and learned how to produce sinusoidal output, remove DC offset, adjust frequency, adjust magnitude, and importantly, verify the desired result in the unloaded and loaded condition. We'll make use of this tool in later lectures. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.